Hi guys, it's the Entertainment Lord today with a prelude to this special video. Today I will be taking on Nikki Ricky Dicky and Don's Go Hollywood special. And here it is. This will be one of the last straws that the show has. I mean, currently, the, its only rival for the worst Nick Sh O is Game Shakers. And not counting animation in this. And Bunked is its only cross network rival. So, let's see how this goes, shall we? Entertainment Lord, get ready, set, start. Hi guys, and I have finally seen Nikki Ricky Dicky and Dawn go Hollywood, and it's terrible. Or not terrible, but pretty bad. And let me explain exactly why. Alright, before I get to the nitty gritty bad stuff though, I want to just say a few things. First of all, they ditched the laugh track, which improved it a little bit. If it had a laugh track, then I would hate it even more, but yeah. And that is at least a little better. Good on you, Slightly. Good on you. The second and final thing I will say to this sh this episode's credit is Jack Griffo. Now, I'm not a fan of the Thundermans. Okay, I don't I don't mind it as much much as the other ones. However, I will say right now, from what I do have seen of it, Jack Griffo is a great actor. Okay. I'm just going to say that right now. He actually can make me laugh. And that's more than almost any of the other ones. And so he's in it. And I'll explain how he works into it later. So a problem I'll bring up that persists throughout the series that is also featured in this is the comedy. Ricky, Nicky, and, Do Dickie and Don's sense of humor is absolutely horrible. And I'm saying that fully. Like, I have. I chuckled. No. I didn't even chuckle there. I smiled once through the whole thing. Once! That's low. Especially for, for a show. I get that Bunked was worse sense of humor wise, but this episode. The next problem I had have with it was its pacing. It is very, very, very poorly paced. For example, for one moment they're in the next place, and honestly, I feel like that some of the events were just the same pretty much. And this will bring up one major complaint after it. Here's another thing. It shows that in this you this was extremely Nickelodeon oriented. For example, I'm just gonna say right now, it'll be dated very, very, very quickly. Like like this is a piece of twenty fifteen. <laughs> because wanna why? Later on, it shows that it references like spent like the Thundermans are gonna be over, and boy, is it annoying how they decide to do frequent references to the Thundermans' existence. You are telling your own story. You are not alluding to better Nick live action shows, better but still bad. I am also going to state that this. This special failed on another aspect. Another aspect that, that it shouldn't have failed on. It's twist. So, I'm not going to spoil what the twist is, but first of all, I didn't see the twist coming myself, okay? It's not like, ho like this to happen in one of these things. However, me not seeing this coming coming didn't come from predictability because for example 
But let me just say that this entire episode is extremely predictable. But it came from poor foreshadowment. Like, yeah, it's probably fake. But I expected it to happen in the show's universe. I don't feel like this episode took place in the show's universe, and I thought it was just a chance for the child actors to enjoy Hollywood for a little bit and see what better shows they might be on. No, I'm just joking. I bet you most of these actors aren't going further in their lives with this, because to be totally honest, the acting's pretty bad, too, in this show. Finally, we come to the characters. Now, this is ex completely expected from this show, but this show is the, the living embodiment of a stereotype of a show, of a sitcom in the last three three decades. A kid sitcom. For example, we have the brainy one. We ha have the girl who's into sports. Haven't seen that before. We have the weird child. And we have the jock. I'm saying this because... Uh, and we also have the dumb dad and the mom. I can't do it a separate classification. I think that Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn has the worst example of one of these moms yet. Wanna know why? She doesn't really have personality. That concludes my review of Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn Go Hollywood. A waste of anyone's time. And I wouldn't even recommend watching this if you're a fan of that show. I'm not a fan of it, and I couldn't stand it. And they try to be so out there and hip. I'm tired of this. Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn, don't mess with me. Dun, 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 dun.